Okay, so we are continuing our journey with our patient and uh, he is a very patient patient. Never complains, he's in for the long run and he's willing to uh, come to us from California all the way and we are very excited to have him here. As you can see now, I wanna point out that uh, right there. So this is the superior portion of the scar that is completely healed, right there. You can't even tell. And this looks nice curve as well. But as we come to the cheek area starting from here, going downwards we have some depression some widening and we want to now hide it because it's a linear scar it's very obvious if we make it a geometric broken line closure i think it's going to hide really well and that's the goal today and uh, we well we'll try the best not to take too much skin because already there's been a loss of skin in that area and we want to preserve it this goes further down so we'll shave off some of the area to follow the scar and get it all done We'll show you once we've done the drawing. Our marking is a complete and as you can see starting there we have a variety of different shapes including triangle, square, rectangle and M's and circles as well, half circles and uh, the width has been five millimeters to six millimeters and that is usually perfect to get a nice camouflage right there and the key is to have the donor area that is going to put right into the empty area a little bit bigger than the defect because once you cut the defect you'll see that it just widens up and so you need to have that into account by just half a millimeter and you will see that fitting is much better and that's what we'll do so let's get to work this is an exciting one. Mm -hmm. 